Lesson 48. This lesson, I want to show you how banks trade. I know I have done some videos on how banks trade, but I want you, as you watch this video, for a moment, you pretend you're not a retail trader. You know, there's a way as retail traders we think. And the fact that you start building something in your mind that, yes, I'm a retail trader, but the big banks, this is how they are trading. And as we know, big banks make money. The retail trader is only 5% who makes money. So what happens to the 95% of the traders who don't make money? They trade like retail trader. And I think, and I want to believe that the 5% have mastered what the banks are doing. So because there is no strategy that is 100%, I will call this strategy 99%. As much as you will, you will listen to it right now, you'll be able to grab something. So this is a 99% winning bank trading strategy. So before even we continue, I want to tell you that online course is available. If you want online course mentorship program, it's $400. All you need to do is WhatsApp me the details or email me. The details are in the description box below. If you want to join physical classes, I always have physical classes every month. And because next month is November, we have physical classes. So if you're in another country, I live in Kenya. If you'd want to come to my physical class, do plans and yeah, the physical class starts 6th of November. So we know the first thing, let's first agree, how do banks trade? I want to give you an idea of how banks trade. So number one of how banks trade, they use higher time frame. So the bank want higher time frame for direction. What does the retail, retail trader, they can use any time frame. So the bank use higher time frame for what? For direction. That is the first criteria. That is the first um, thing of the bank. They will use higher time frame. So for them, they want to be more with the direction. They want to go with the direction of the market rather than having a uh, a 15 minutes chart or a one hour chart and they don't know what is happening. So the number one criteria of the bank. So if you want an idea of trading like the bank, you have to embrace the higher time frame. Yes, I know you love one hour, two hours, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, but you need to embrace higher time frame. Now the bank use higher time frame for, for direction, but they don't remain on only higher time frame. So they use higher time frame for direction and they use other time frame. Number two, use other time frame to execute. For execute. I hope I've written that well. So as much as the bank love higher time frame, don't be fooled. If you go to higher time frame and spot a double bottom or a double top or a ranging and has broken, that is the overall. The bank just want higher time frame to get the direction so that they can choose. So the bank might know this is what many people don't understand. And I think the Holy Spirit keeps revealing to me because ask yourself what I'm trying to teach you. This is lesson 48. For all the lessons I have taught you, ask yourself if I sat somewhere and I was taught, most probably I will not have able, I will not be able to teach you guys. Why? Because I'll be relying on someone else's information. But what happens if the Holy Spirit teaches you, if God himself gives you the wisdom, he doesn't give you the wisdom for yourself. So people have to realize, for me, when the Holy Spirit pour this information in my life, he does not pour the information to keep it for myself. There is an instruction. Know this, know how these people do it, know what happens with this candlestick, I direct you to do this and that and that because I want you to gain the or get the enough data when you're presenting to the people, they can understand. So we need to understand when revelation comes to someone through God is through God to people, through God to men. But mostly when now I tell you what God has said, most probably what you're doing with the information, you're benefiting yourself and that's what it's supposed to be. You're trading for yourself. If you choose, you want to teach others, you need to ask God to give you new revelation because it's not 
as good as teaching people from someone else's revelation. Yes, it can help you, but if you want to pour out to people's life, you need to kneel down and ask the Holy Spirit. Anyway, Holy Spirit taught me this. This is the bank. So the bank needs to know the direction of the market. So if the bank realize this market is gonna, so they know the market is a sell. Trust me, if they know the market is a strong sell, it doesn't mean that the bank will sell. It doesn't mean the bank will go and place a sell order. No, it doesn't mean that they will trade a sell position. They are aware that the market will sell. Having that information, they can now decide what to do with it. So when the bank know the market will sell, for instance, and they know for a way for a higher time frame, what they do, they wait. So the bank, the bank, they do what? They wait. Why are they waiting? They are waiting for you. So the bank, they do what? They wait. When they wait, they wait for the retail trader because the retail trader, they are doing two things. They are busy doing these two things. The retail trader, they are busy one, buying, two, selling. So the bank, they know where the market is going. They know it's a sell. But even after knowing, the, the, the thing is, what I was getting convicted in my spirit was, there are sometimes you know the market is moving on a buy, but there's that spirit that calms you down and let you know, yes, this market will sell, but can you be patient? Because yes, you, you're seeing is a sell. Your mind is telling you sell now, but can you be patient until I give you a hands up? So the bank, I think they operate like the Holy Spirit because all we know about the Holy Spirit, he's very, very, um, he doesn't do things in a quick manner. Like the Holy Spirit is very, very calm spirit. He will come to an area and nobody will realize that he's there, yet he's very powerful. So when the market is a sell, the banks don't press sell now, they wait on you. So they are looking for your action. Will you buy the same market? Will you sell? So the banks know, will I buy? So for retail traders, if majority buy, for instance, 90% of the traders buy. So here are the 90%. 90% of the traders buy this market. So 90% of the traders, they are the ones that are buying. And 10% are selling. 10% are selling. Automatically, the market will sell. Why? Because once the bank said they will benefit from the 90% traders, if it is vice versa, the buyers are 10% and everyone is selling. Note, the bank had spotted a sale. So everyone is selling like the bank. Do you think the market will continue to sell? No. They will make the market buy because when they rely with the 10%, even them, they are making money. So using higher time frame is not for them oh because it's a sell let's sell it's a buy uh -uh. using higher time frame is being in one position and waiting upon us now once you understand that the next thing the bank do, once they wait on you the banks will always use pattern let's not lie to each other whatever if it creates anything that it creates you call it a pattern the market will always move in pattern so what you you are interpreting either it's a head and shoulder bullish flag, um, cup and handle, ranging market, double top, double bottom, all those patterns. And for me, I've realized the banks use pattern. So I think what you need to understand, master the pattern. This should be every prayer that you do in your closet. God, help me to understand the Forex pattern because the Forex pattern gives a story. The forex pattern tells your story. So with those three things, I have shown you the three things that the bank use. They use a higher time frame for direction. They don't. It doesn't mean that they will buy or sell. They use other time frame for execution. So once they know the market direction, they will use lower time frame for execution. And then they use patterns. They love patterns a lot. They love patterns a lot. So with that being said, can I can I show you? Can allow me to show you the ninety nine percent winning bank trading strategy, like this one. 
it's a winning uh, strategy. So I have these charts. I open my charts. And again, it's a top-down analysis why banks use higher time frames. So we'll start from monthly. I open this chart and I'm asking myself, what is the market structure of this market? What do you think? This is the high, the low of the market according to the chart I'm analyzing. And this is the high of the market. So this market, it's nearing the high meaning. It is an uptrend. So the market has been going up, up, down, high, 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 low. And then they, they go like that. And they, it's a clear, it's an uptrend. If we want to check the previous candle, yes, it's an uptrend, but why is this market selling? For how many months? One, two, three, four. Four months, the market has been selling. One, two, three, four. Four months, that should worry you. Yes, it's an uptrend, but the market should, the, the, the price action, we are talking of a price action now, is a sell. So you see, there's a contradiction. Uptrend, and the market now is selling. Contradiction. So you can't rely on, oh, it's uptrend, let me buy. Oh, it's downtrend, let me sell. Uh, it's a price action, is a sell, let me sell. There's contradiction. Guess what brings the difference, the Forex pattern? What do you think the Forex pattern is here? What do you think? Have you spotted this double bottom? Banks love pattern. If you know that, you're good to go. That's a, for, that's a pattern. A double bottom is a pattern. And banks love that. Why? Once they have a pattern, they can now know what next. Like they use the pattern to know the next move a lot. So you mark your neckline and you mark your half. You see, I tell people, and I have told you here, that double bottoms on an uptrend are easy to trade. Why? Because they are going with the move. So this double bottom, the market is an uptrend. So it's easier to buy. Why? Because the market might continue with the trend and buy like that. But now the, the problem is, the only thing that I have not taught on YouTube, and you have to respect that, is RBS strategy. This is for someone who has, it is in the course. So I cannot teach something that is in the course. What will be the need of selling the course? So the RBS strategy is in the course. If you buy the course, it's a whole module and it's module 12, RBS. The fact that there is no RBS shows me that there's something that is hidden on this double bottom. So the fact that I don't have RBS, uh, I won't take this double bottom as a last choice. That's why I've said they can use a pattern to communicate a buy but at the end of the day, they are waiting on you. So banks are very, very clever. And I, I, I want one day to be like exactly like them, even more advanced. Like by the time they are doing a move, I already know what they are doing. Because I believe Holy Spirit, God and Jesus, you know, they are three in one. They are, uh, do we call it om, omniscient, all-knowing? Omnipres om, omnipresent is everywhere omniscient i think is all knowing and you know when the holy spirit is in you he can reveal these secrets and you can know something that the bank doesn't know so that's what i believe now the fact that we don't have rbs i'm not trusting this double bottom again i teach you this is what i teach you uh here on youtube so even if you don't know about rbs at least you know two things i told you guys when you have a double bottom it can give you two patterns. So if I have a double bottom, the first pattern, it can break the neckline and complete the double bottom. And another pattern that the, a double bottom can give you is a what? A cup and handle. So you see, even if I'm not giving you every detail, at least, at least guys, I'm giving you so much information that you can be trading and make money. So you have a double bottom there. This is a double bottom that can give you two uh, outcomes. The first outcome is a double bottom that breaks half. You can see the market has broken half and then goes to the neckline. That is the first one. And then the next one is a double bottom that fails to break half. So this is our half. It fails to break half, 
breaks the double bottom and goes down. So pattern one, it has created a what? Complete double bottom. Complete double bottom. Pattern two, what has been created? Cup and handle, inverted cup and handle. So pattern two, cup and handle. So what the banks do, and as because this video is about the banks, I'll keep mentioning about them so many times. What these banks do, they will give you one pattern. They have given you a double bottle. But for them, they know if majority buy, we will sell and get an inverted cup and handle. If majority thinks this is a cup and handle, the market will eventually break half, eventually break neckline and continue. So the bank are the only people who know where the, the, the market will go, but the retail trader, they don't know. So the fact that you know the double bottom can produce two things, it sets you higher than any other trader. And that's why you see people are commenting in my YouTube channel, like in the videos, they are saying, oh, since I started watching you, I'm making profits, why? Because what we are doing here is effort. Be open. Let your, your eyes be open. Like Jesus was telling that person who was deaf, their ears could not hear. He, he just said effort and the ears were opened. The only thing that I'm doing with these YouTube videos is effort. Is it effort or effort? Whatever. Effort is mean open, be open. So you need to understand that the market here, the market here can do two things. So, and what they are giving you, the banks are very clever. They cannot leave you hanging. So they know the double bottom, there are two choices. So they give you an entry of one. So they give you, it's like they bet you. They give you like, um, I don't know what I can say, but when the deal is too good, think twice. So the banks, at this moment, they feel, they think us, we are so easygoers. And once we watch the double bottom and we use WBB strategy, because for us, we use WBB strategy, what do we have? We have a bullish engulf. So the bank, they go to one extra step of giving you a very easy entry. And this is where red flag should arise. Why are these, these so specific? To make sure when we come to do analysis, we are seeing bullish and gulf. And because you, you are a retail trader, you learn somewhere bullish and gulf means buy. More free videos, they say bullish and gulf, WBB, wait for bullish and gulf. So they already know what exactly a retail trader check. They know if a retail trader, you give them a bullish and gulf, boom, they are in it. But let me tell you, in this channel is unique because once you stay out, you stay with these videos, you will be seeing like the bank. So for me, I see a double bot. The fact that it does not have RBS, the fact that it can produce two patterns, this, this bullish engulf is a trap. It's a trap, guys. So someone who doesn't have enough information, they'll come and place their buy trade and they are very happy. And their stop loss, maybe they'll say it's below there. And the stop loss is it's a big, it's it's big because this is monthly time frame. So they are targeting how many pips? 642. But their stop loss is almost, even if you put below that red candle, is 800. So that's that's crazy. So they will work without stop loss because they cannot even put stop loss. And they are thinking this market will hit their take off. Something else. The banks, I told you, they work with patterns. That was number three. The question here you would have asked yourself, and I think if you watch this video, <laughs> effort, that, your eyes has to be opened. Your ears has to be open. You have to understand what I'm saying because I can have a good news, but people are blocked. They are blocked. Their ears are blocked. They can't hear. These are not the lessons that you watch when you're cooking. No. You can't watch me when you're cooking or when you're when you're sleeping. This is a lesson you take a notebook because I'm not the one who's speaking to you. You have to respect whoever 
has sent me. So, uh, take a notebook and understand. We said the third thing the banks use is the pattern. So yes, they have given you a bullish engulf. You need to ask yourself, which pattern are we on? This double bottom, yes, it's a double bottom, but which pattern, which pattern are we on? Which P are we talking about? Because it's a double bottom, which P? Because if it's pattern one, there will be pattern two. Pattern three is where now we at least get an idea what the banks are trying to do. So if this is pattern one, we are in trouble trading pattern one. Is If this is pattern two, also we are in trouble because pattern one and pattern two are the most delicate patterns to trade because the banks use these patterns as a trap. So um, I, I'm looking, I'm looking. Um, do I have another pattern? Do I have another pattern? And I'm thinking out loud. And to my amazement, I find we had pattern one. Let me tell you, the banks already knew we had that double top. That's pattern one. Not many who would be analyzing this market will even care of this pattern. And once you don't care, they clap their hands and they know they have locked you to thinking like them. So we have a double bottom and, and this case is a possible double bottom and unless we check on them if they have broken half. So we have that double top. So we have a double top that is pattern one, P1. We have a double top that is P1. And then let's get understand what is this double top talking about? We have a double top that is pattern one. And the fact is the double top has RBS. Meaning for me, I'm seeing these things so clear these days and I'm thinking, well, I wish I can train everyone and all of us, we make money. We are the 5%. You know, when you talk of Forex trading, someone just shouts, only 5% make it. Just tell them I belong to the 5% from now. I want you to comment down below and say, I belong to the 5%. We are tired of people saying the Forex market is only for the 5%. We belong to that 5%. I also have a, like, I have a group with the 5%. Like, for me, I understand that we belong to that 5%. I don't care what happens to the 95%, but anyone who encounter a Samofri, automatically they belong to 5%. Because the word says, there's a place where Jesus said that the poor shall always be among us. We cannot change everyone's story in the Forex market. Not everyone will make money, but the thing is, if you encounter these videos, you cannot remain the same. So comment down below, say, I belong to the 5%. I belong to the 5%. Anyway, so we, we have RBS. For, sometimes I feel like I want to train on the RBS, but the Holy Spirit has not permitted me. So I will not talk about it. We have RBS, meaning the double top was very, very powerful than the double bottom that is being created because one does not have RBS, the other one has RBS. Now, the double top becomes pattern one, the double bottoms becomes pattern two. We all agree pattern two what it does. It push away from what the banks want to do. Once you understand what I'm teaching, you'll be able to trade. So you're not, as much as you're analyzing this pattern, if this is the situation you're in, you're not running to buy. In fact, you are running to check for pattern three because pattern three will give you an entry. Mostly pattern three and pattern one, they correspond, they talk one message. So once we go on the monthly, there's nothing else we can do. Once you flip weekly time frame, what is happening? What is happening, guys? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? On the Weekly time frame, it is there in your eyes, pattern three. It is here, pattern three, it's there, visible, clear. And uh, like I've said, pattern three and pattern one, most probably they talk the same thing. So pattern three is there. And in fact, you're being told to sell up to the half. It has RBS. So 
everything is playing, falling into place. You see, has RBS, we have RBS here. We have RBS. So in fact, when monthly is telling people to buy, weekly is telling them it's okay, it's fine. You can do what? You can sell. You can do what? You can sell. You need to understand that this double top, if it completes, if it's a complete double top, if it's a complete double top, this is the direction the market will take. That's where the market is going, see? So already you have identified if this market continues to drop, that's what is happening. Like that. So we have pattern three. This is our pattern three. This is our P3. If you trade like this, you will be able to trade like the bank. So already we are entering. Why? We have a bearish hang up. Uh, in evening star. So you can place your short position. We want to see how many pips were those. How many pips? How many pips? 144 pips. 144 pips just to realize the patterns, just to realize how banks move because everyone now thinks that this double top is a distraction. They are waiting to come and buy. No. Pattern three, very powerful. So you enter your trade and the first thing, so that candle, let's see. So it had not closed. So once you enter weekly candle, the first day on Monday, the candle hit your take profit. It hit half. That is Monday. That is Monday, guys. So at the end of the day, note this double top, if it's not on the monthly, you're waiting for that half to get broken. So let's check. Let me first remove this candle so that you can go to the monthly. Let's check on the monthly if that double top is there. Is that double top on the monthly available? Why? Because you need to understand if it is not there. Can you see that double top on the monthly? It's not there. So let's continue. So that double top on monthly is not there. That's why we entered. And the first day on Monday, we got an entry. Then you're waiting for the neckline to be broken. So you wait Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And the market hits everywhere. So at this time, you cannot trade this market, why? Because I want to show you how many, let me delete everything and I show you what I mean. We have the pattern, there's a pattern one on the monthly, that is a double top. And then we have the double bottom on still on the monthly, the double bottom pattern two, and then we have pattern three. So the pattern three is what we are looking at. Will they break the neckline? So there is no way you can try to go and trade this like a buy. No, no, we are not trying to trade. So we are asking ourselves with pattern three, give us an entry. So what happens is that because we are anticipating for a sell, we can look for areas. You see these two red candles. We can look those areas on a, on on daily if we have an end like a buy, uh, a resistance to create either a double top. That's the only thing you can do because if at all, you can come here and say, if the market comes around this area, I will sell because of the double top on the daily that is not available where on the weekly. Again, you say, if the market comes around this area, I will sell. Why? Because of the double top on the daily and not on the weekly. So we have to position. Instead of staying on the weekly, you can be on the daily looking for opportunity. So I have that point. 
So I have this point. Like I'm anticipating because it's fact that that double top can break the neckline. So I'm hoping where will the market go? Will it go to this first? I'll continue, I'll continue like so that I can be able to know how to enter um, before the market uh, does everything. You can see on the weekly, if you are looking at the weekly, you are not even seeing anything. Can you see? You're not seeing any resistance. So you have shifted to daily because once daily gives you an entry, it is going to be so. So on the daily, we are not interested with a buy. We are not interested with a buy. We are interested in how will the market go up. So you can go and put alerts, alerts, and once the market reach that zone, it will give you those alerts. So let's see what happens. So the market is reacting to the place. The first place, the market breaks to a first area. Can you see they have, they have broke. So they ca we cannot use that, we remove it. Note, we are not interested with this buy. So many people do what? They will start trading this by saying, oh, this is a double bottom. This is not a double bottom. This is an area that has been tested so many times. So if you want to buy, the market has to break on the weekly a certain area. Because, or, or yeah, that double top that we had on the weekly, like a ranging. So they have to break this ranging. So we can put this as a ranging. If you have to buy, they have to break that ranging. So let's continue what happens. Do, will they activate this double top for us to enter? So they have activated. What do you use? You use, you use what? Um, you use we call it what? WBB. So we are using WBB. You wait for a red candle. You put a box. You're waiting for this box to be broken so that you can enter sale. So you measure up to half. So banks will always use patterns. So we are hoping the market will break and give us that area. So as we are hoping, the market gives us a green candle so you remove the box. We are still hoping for a red candle. Note, guys, I want you to note that we have not gotten an entry. The market is buying, trapping people. You know how the, the banks have to give you a false move. This buy is for people who are not paying attention on the time frame, weekly, monthly, what has been happening. So people are buying, enjoying this buy, not knowing these are dangerous zones. Then the market has dangerous spots that you're not supposed to enter. So everyone is buying, 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 and not even realizing, oh, there's a double top that can be activated. And as they continue to buy, <laughs> you get that. You see, you get that. Let me tell you, we will calculate how many pips are this. We shall calculate how many pips. You see this alone, this is 1,875 pips. I don't know what had happened to CAD, but when you fail, when you are ignorant, always you're in trouble. So don't be ignorant. So the market has activated a double top and has broken what we wanted, it has broken the neckline. So this is what we are looking for. And this double top, note, it is not on the weekly. The double top is not on the weekly. So because it has activated the farthest double top, that's what we are working on. It has broken half, broken neckline, and now it is in the process of finishing this double top. So let's see what happened. Note, everyone now is worried. They're almost finishing. Can you see? They're almost finishing this pattern. So what happens, this being on Friday, you can even flip on the weekly time frame to check what really happened that week. You can see the how the market broke, how the market broke even the double bottom. Can you see how the market broke this double bottom? So what, what we were suggesting that a double bottom can give you two patterns, can give you a cup and handle or complete, that's what has happened. This double bottom has given us a cup and handle. So we have a complete double top that is almost completing and we have now the bigger inverted cup and handle. That's how the banks trade. The bank don't trade the way you think. They will trap you, trap you, trap you, and then finally they drop everything. So we know that the market is coming to that area and they will complete the double top. That's the double top 
of the daily they can complete you see they have even this double top they have broke so if you come and sell in this case you can choose to sell or to ignore but sellers have declared what they are stronger so if you decide to sell let's see how many pips are those 1000 pips 1000 pips if you decide to sell 1000 pips did the market hit the take profit? Half is the guaranteed take profit. How was the buyers? How was everyone who bought when monthly gave them a bullish anger? They have been taken drawdown of 1,600. That is crazy. Those accounts are blown. So when the market goes like that and you are trying to sell, did it hit the take profit? So let's see if the TP was hit. Was the TP hit? The TP was hit and the market started to consolidate on that area. The lesson here you need to learn, guys, if you always wanted to trade with the bank, the, the bank will give you a bait. We go back to monthly and you see what happened. The double bottom that we thought, the double bottom here, guys, we thought had um, a bullish angle. That is the candle that broke so immediately immediately after the bullish angle the bank gave you that big candle but it was printed everywhere so many people call this manipulation for me i don't call it manipulation it's just that you don't have the keys if you don't have the keys of opening a door you are a thief to that house if you attempt to break in you are a thief even if you break in you will not enjoy what is inside but if you have the keys, you are confident when you sit down on that chair that you belong there because you open the door in the right way. So the market can give you a buy move, but there are so many, so many uh, obstacles along the way that will show you this market will not buy. Thank you so much for watching how to trade the, like the banks. I hope this video has opened your eyes and you'll be trading like the banks. All the best. Love you.